Fort Wayne's Veterans Shrine now has its newest monument, and if you stop by, you may recognize some familiar faces. Veteran leaders unveiled the newest Korean War monument this weekend, featuring statues of a dozen Northeast Indiana veterans who served overseas. I got the chance to talk with some of them as their legacy is immortalized in this shrine. Take a look inside the event. May this event serve as a reminder of their dedication and the values they defended. And number one is Jean Rohr, her friend of the shrine for many years, Carl Fowler, figure nine, Victor Lay. All these figures you see behind me are local veterans, have the faces of local veterans, and we're honoring those local guys from Northeast Indiana. Bud Mendenhall. When he did that, I just thought, gosh, you, you know, tears came to my eyes. Well, just look around, it's just like a, a big family when I was in the service. Uh, that was your family. See all the, the, the guys and these ladies that served. It's a, just like being home sometimes. Number 12, Charles Mopper. Well, that's just unbelievable, you know, that there would be that many people coming out here like this, uh, and I want everybody to know I'm sure no war hero. I was just G.I. Joe. Well, we're not stopping. The chapel's next, uh, and once we get the chapel finished, we have other monuments that are ready to come into play. When they f finally get finished with it, if we ever do, this is going to be a beautiful spot, and I will, would say you could, you'll see it on many a magazine as uh, one of the finest parks in the, in the country.